Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com, and like always, hola como estas? You are now tuned into the realest Yankees channel on the web. If you guys have been following this channel for some time now, you know I don't sugarcoat things. So with that said, Jordan Montgomery, he's going to be on the disabled list for about two months, right? We've been in month one already. So the Yankees, their situation is this. CC Sabathia has been having a few bad starts. He started off good, but the last three to four starts, I'll say last three, have been horrible. Okay? So we all know when Jordan Montgomery comes back, the starting rotation is going to go back to normal. The Yankees, the mistake they're doing now is this. This is the perfect opportunity to experiment with what you have in your farm system. To experiment with other pitchers that are currently on your roster. The only pitcher that the Yankees are experimenting with as of now, which I think is a waste of time because he's not a long-term solution, is with Domingo Herman. People keep comparing him to Luis Severino. Come on, that's, that's a joke, okay? I know Domingo Herman has been highly touted for years or whatever. He was one of the Marlins' top prospects, but you can't compare him to Luis Severino. Luis Severino is a different animal, okay? So the Yankees have other top prospects. Domingo Herman was never a so-called top prospect of the New York Yankees. Sure, he was on the radars of many, People kept saying, give him a chance, give him a chance. He's got three starts under his belt. Sure, the first one was amazing, but he has given up six runs in his last two starts. So, with Jordan Montgomery being out, as of now, I see the Yankees giving Domingo Herman one more start. But after that, if he flops yet again, the Yankees have to go to their farm system. What is the point of drafting all of these pitchers when you're not going to use them. You keep using position players, but when was the last time, unless your name was Luis Severino, that you developed a pitcher, gave them a chance, okay? Let's see what Chance Adams has. People are saying, even call up Justice Sheffield. I think he's too young, but who knows? Glaber Torres is playing in the major leagues right now, and he's 21, so who knows? I know Chance Adams, his last start wasn't so good, but the, the start before that, it was excellent. He went over seven innings, and he struck out 10 batters. And even in the game where he struggled last game, he struck out six. But I want to read you an interesting fact from the Rail Riders official Twitter or somebody that writes for them. The tweet says, a trend may be worth keeping an eye on this season. Chance Adams with Kyle Higashoka catching 11.20 ERA, 2.74 whip, innings 13.2. Longest start with Kyle was 4.1 innings, okay? Chance Adams with Eric Kratz catching 2.73 ERA, 0.84 whip, innings pitch 29.2 with five starts. So people that are bashing Chance Adams, you're just reading what you're seeing. It's been more than 50-50 with Chance Adams this year in AAA. So folks, there's going to have to come a time where Chance Adams has to get an opportunity to pitch in the major leagues. Also, the same can be said for Sheffield. Okay? Now is the perfect opportunity to experiment with your young arms. Just in case one or more pitchers on your starting rotation go down. Even at the deadline, if you acquire an ace or another starting pitcher, okay? You have to test them out at some point. Because down the line, let's say the Red Sox keep winning. We all know they might be another 100-win team, okay? Let's see what you have early, because if you do it late in the season, it, it might 
become another Jaime Garcia situation. Another, because Sonny Gray was horrible when the Yankees got him. Another Sonny Gray situation where these pitchers are pitching, but every time they take the mound, they're losing. And you acquired them to win, okay? So it's better that the Yankees take advantage of this situation, make a negative into a positive, where they do experiment and put out different starting pitchers just in case one of your main guys goes down. And you could say that they're doing it with Domingo Herman. But why draft all these pitchers if you're not going to give them an opportunity to showcase their skills? Who knows? Maybe the answer is in the Yankees farm system. Look at all the position players. Maybe we don't really need an ace. Maybe somebody from the farm system can step up. Who knows? We don't know. So this is what we need to find out before the deadline comes. Because like I said in my previous video, you up the trade value of any of these pitchers come trade deadline and you might not have to give up that many players if they perform well. So like always, Yankees fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. Who would you like the Yankees to call up next concerning starting pitching if Domingo Herman implodes yet again? Like I said, CeCe Sabathia is having rough outings as well. Who knows if he goes down with an injury soon. We know CeCe Sabathia's knee always gives out at some point of the season. I'm not trying to sound like an alarmist, but I'm just being realistic. Let's see what the Yankees farm system is about when it comes to pitching. We see all these position players. We see them all helping the Yankees on the major league level. So, tough loss yet again for the New York Yankees. They actually lost a series. Let's see if they come back. If you ask me, all these off days are playing with their rhythm. All these plane delays are playing with their rhythm. Let's see if they bounce back at home and have a good series versus the Houston Astros. So like always, Yankees fans, this has been Felix from mlwineuse.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you all next time.